What are you two doing? <laughs> Kiss me ears. It's all right. Chill out. All right. What is up? We're on our way to a little fishing spot uh, that I that I've not been to in about two years or so. Hello. 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 Uh, get the fuck. <laughs> a lot of people don't like walking by these cows. I don't know if they're all males or not. They look like males. They definitely don't have others. I think they're beef cows. The ones destined for McDonald's and Burger King. Well, there's not even bloody any beef in those. Anyway, we're on our way to a little fishing spot. Uh, it's over yonder. Oh, I just walked through cow shit. No. Hello. Hello. He has a shit caked backside. Oh my days. Cows, man. Anyway, as I said, we're going over there. Uh, it's about seven, seven o'clock right now. I just got off of work about half past five, had my dinner, and I was thinking, I've not been to this spot in a good while. Like, I've not been to this spot since the lockdowns. I think that's how long it's been. I've not been fishing a lot this year, which is a bit of a bloody shame. A wee bit, a bit of a bastard on my part as well, because uh, focusing on the channel and stuff, and real life events and things. But, we're going over there today. Uh, it will take me a minute. So, I'm not gonna record this whole section. Fuck no. Uh, I'm gonna pause it at some point, or stop it, and then switch to my GoPro. Right now I'm on my phone. The quality in my phone. <laughs> uh, let me just show you what I'm using today. I am using the old baitcaster. Uh, Abu, Gar uh, Abu Garcia Silver Max Combo. It is, what does that say? Is that Silver Max Next Generation Abu Garcia? There you go, 6'6, six six, 15 to 45 gram, medium action, and accompanying it is the Silver Max uh, 6 bearing baitcaster. Low profile with uh, lots of J braid. <laughs> I've got a backpack full of lures. Wood pigeon! They're good eating them. Apparently they're like flying steak. In fact, they are like flying steak. So, there you go. Um, I've got a backpack full of lures. I have trace. I have fluorocarbon. I've got all my gizmos and gadgets. Well, when I say gizmos and gadgets, I mean my forceps, my pliers, and what else have I got in here? Nippers, I think. I, what I usually do before I get to these spots or when I go out fishing is the night before I'll tailor fit my gear and that way I don't have to fanny about looking for things uh, because I just said fuck it I'm going fishing uh, I've not really done anything with this bag this bag of lures this bag, there's like five tackle boxes loaded with lures in my backpack right now I've also got my net, rubber mesh net. Always use a rubber mesh, boys. Anyway, it's loaded with lures. I think they're all my shallow and uh, heavy sink lures. So I'm gonna be doing some uh, reeling with this bad boy. Uh, Cause by the looks of it, the river, which is just to my left there, I think it's kinda low. There hasn't been a great deal of rainfall. So it might be quite low. And the places that the pike usually sit, in the margins, in the reeds and the lily pads, those will all be, well, not so much dry land, but damp ground. They won't be overflowed by water. So, I might have to find a different fucking spot. Or I might have to go right up to the loch, it depends what we do. What we do. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised nobody's out today. There's only one motor back there. Now, I would turn around, but I can't be bothered. But behind me, I've walked a fair distance. Uh, and to get to the fishing spot that I'm talking about, it's quite literally over there. Look at that sky though. <laughs> In fact, the river's just up here. 
we'll go have a wee proper look at it. The place where I parked up my car, you can kind of make it out how deep it is, how uh, raging it would usually be, if it's coloured or not, if it's actually got a good flow on it. Uh, by the looks of it, and from what I can see right now, uh, it's okay. It's not terrible. Now bear in mind, salmon come up this way, so... <clears throat> oh, and let me tell you about this stretch of water here. So, this bit's going to look absolutely fantastic for throwing lures and things. There's something just rose right there. There's something there. Anyway, as you can see right along, it's absolutely marvellous. It looks great. But, um, the rule is, now, this is going to sound weird to, weird to the Americans here. This stretch of water is governed by a club, a fishing club, right? And the place that I'm going is governed by a completely different club. In fact, there's signs coming up here. I don't want to show it though and dox myself. But this area right here is governed by one uh, fishing body or far, one fishing club. All the way down, all the way around. And it goes for, for, for quite a distance. And the place that I'm going is a loch or a lake. A loch, we call it a loch here. And uh, <laughs> yeah, you can catch salmon in here, you can catch trout in here, wild browns, uh, Atlantic salmon. Don't know what else you can catch in here. I think you can catch eels in here. I've, I've seen a fair few people catching eels, uh, perch, pike. I mean, I'm after pike today, as you can quite clearly tell. Predator fishing. <clears throat> I think I just stepped in cow shit again. Ew. But, uh, 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 this bit, someone different. That bit up there, uh, someone completely different. Completely different uh, club that own that part. So, there you go. A little bit of uh, insight into my, well this is not actually my local, I had to travel to get to here. So, but it's a place I come, I frequent a lot, so. Uh, if you do figure out where this is, uh, hopefully you won't fucking recognise me. That would be a bastard. Anyway, I'm going to close up here, switch, switch to my GoPro, and we'll do a bit of fishing. See you in a second. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we are now on the GoPro. I have my Silver Max all sorted out, and we have a carbon copy of a Whopper Plopper. I can't remember what this is, I believe it's a Berkeley. And over there, I just seen a fish rise. So I'm going to attempt uh, fishing over yonder. I can't forget this thing. Uh, let's go see. Now I saw it rise, it was a big splash. It was quite clearly a pike. So we're gonna go try our luck. Now, I'm gonna throw it right over to that little bridge over there and drag it right across its nose. So, where can I? Oh, there's a good little spot right there. Don't sting me, Mr. Bumblebee. Oh, the cows have been trampling the shit out of this. Woo! It's really dodgy here. Right, this is probably good enough. Now, I apologise if you can hear my heartbeat. I've not been out in a while, so let's go. Let's see what's out there. Leave it for a second. Trying not to get the hooks to drag on that. Exactly what I was trying not to do there. <laughs> for a second come out come out wherever you are right I'm switching to weedless if I have any weedless stuff I'm switching to weedless <laughs> I'm just bringing over weed after weed after weed 
That's a lot of crows. Crows on a roost. It is fluorocarbon that I'm using though. So if if it bites off, I'm fucked. Okay. Go down this way. Oh, that's heavy. That's very heavy. That is not heavy, that is in fact stuck on the tip of my That's it, that's it. That's it. We're good, we're good, we're good to go. Good to play. Right. Um fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Right. Seems to be some solid ground right here. If I can just do this. And if they could if the cows could just fucking not come over here again for a while, just so I've got some solid ground to stand on. That'd be fantastic. And ole. Right. Come on, we pikey boys. Come out, come out to play. right across <laughs> I believe I've got a bit of weed on my lure there we go it's free I should really put the I should, maybe I should put the top water back on or maybe I should put a hard lure on hard lures seem to do well down this bit and away you go, rocket. What I usually do is I fish down there, but today I'm feeling like I'm gonna get one up here, and I probably could have. I probably can. I just want this pike to bite. Come on, bite, bite your bastards. I just saw a wee fish jump out the water there. Wee bait fish, just over here. Oh, you saw one right there. That better not be the rain coming on. That'll be the last bloody thing I need to right now. Oh yes. That is a lot of little fish. That's a lot of minnows. I love the fact that I can actually feel the movement of the, the lure. Oh! I thought something tugged it there. Fuck! Oh! oh I've just put it through weeds. I've put it through weeds. I'll put it through weeds. Yep, put it through weeds. Lovely. Fox Rage Spiky has never in my puff let me down. Every time I cast one, I catch something. And that doesn't include weeds. Every time I cast one, I catch something. I love Fox Rage Spikies, they're so good. Between Fox Rage and uh, Berkeley slash Abu Garcia, fucking hell, Abu stuff. Uh, that's what I tend to use. I used to be a massive Savage Gear fanboy. <laughs> Not anymore, uh, because I've seen the error of my ways. Not that they're bad. Not, I'm, I'm not saying that Savage Gear are terrible. I'm just saying that there's other lures out there that do a better job. So anybody that likes Savage Gear, don't come for me. All right, it's just a preference. It's just an opinion. Alright, I could fish all the way up there, but it's bloody difficult to get over there. It's getting a wee bit cold now, so... Right, I am fishing this. I'm going to fish this on a constant retrieve and just hope something takes it. I'm dragging it through all the reeds. 
There's the only downside to having a bait caster. I, I prefer. Oh! Did you see that? Did you fucking see that? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on a ticket. What are you doing? That was a big fish. That was a big fish. Now, that could be, that could be just a big trout. That could also be a pike. Let's just uh, fun it, shall we? Oh my God, the bloody cows make this so bloody difficult to walk on. Whew. Right, right here, right here. Right, nothing that time, but we'll keep trying. <laughs> whatever that is, whatever just attacked, whatever was over there, I want it to just attack mine. Come on. Yeah. Rapala countdowns catch a lot according to my oh there's another thing that just rose over there another something that just rose right let's try the Rapala let's give the Rapala a wee try I've yet to try the countdown I've, 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 I've used the smaller countdowns this is the larger countdown I believe can't remember what size it is I could have looked at the box Right, my trousers are fondant. Right. Yeah, as soon as, as soon as, as soon as the the reeds and stuff die away and it all gets cleared away by obviously the rising waters and stuff the rain, winter rains it'll be awesome to fish here oh, 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 oh. oh we're in oh that's some. that's a pike, that's a pike oh it's a pike that's it, come to me no. Come over here. Oh, what are you? Oh, it's a pike. Oh, he's just hooked. He's just hooked. Oh, don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. Oh, I need to get him closer. I'm going to have to beach him. I'm going to have to beach him. Come on, come on, come on. Come here. Oh, this is an absolute state. It's not your shit. There we go. It's a big boy. Well, he's no big, but he's half decent size. Right. Apologies, I'm going to take you from your favourite little spot. I'm going to have to take you over here. He is barely just hooked in the gub there. Oh, well done. Rapala king. Rapala as king. Right. Let's get that out of your gub. There we go. Uh. Lovely little pike. Lovely. Right. And away. Oh, bloody hell. What a fiasco. 
that wasn't the most graceful of releases I've ever done here. I've done much easier releases here. But fucking hell. Oh. As you can tell, I've not been outside in a while. And I'm still affected by probably long COVID. <laughs> Which is a bit of a kick in the nads, but hey ho. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Rapala countdown. They work. There's nothing like cooking a fish when you think you've lost, when you think you've blanked for the whole day. And then it's just, oh, I've got one, you know? Right. Through the reeds. I'm going through the reeds. Oh, that's not so good. Lovely. I've got a box of these. Uh, popper, authentic uh, river to sea whopper plopper. Um, in the perch, and I've got one in the pike, both the large sizes. What is it? Whopper plopper, 110 millimeter float. Oh my god, my knees. More Rapalas. Uh, what else have I got? Knock off uh, Whopper Plopper. Can probably just put that there actually. These, these things are great. Svartzonker McSnacks. I love McSnacks. I love Svartzonker. Love them lures. Them lures are good. Them some good lures. Uh, what else have I got? You can tell I'm an avid fan of Schwarzonker. Uh, McHybrid Babies. This is a Weston. I can't remember what it's called. These are uh, Ricky Roaches. These, a couple of more Weston lures. A couple of poppers, a couple of plugs, a couple of cranks. Oh, these, these things are amazing. Pulse tails, Berkeley Pulse tails. I know the man that actually designed these, Simon Tornbeek. I've met him a few times, or I've met him once, I believe. And he's, he was saying to me that they're going to be the next new thing. And I believe him, because see on the smaller sizes. Oh my God, I've caught so many fish on them. <laughs> caught loads of fish on them. They're so good. They're actually amazing. I love them a bit. Uh, I actually lost quite a few uh, as of recent uh, because Pike broke me off because I was using fluorocarbon uh, from on my ultralight and not um, a wire trace. My trousers are falling down again. Oh, right, I need to get up. <coughs> there is people over there with wains I don't know what they are doing <sighs> great not that I don't like kids not that I don't like kids I just can't be bothered with other people's kids you know what I mean you know anyone else sympathise with me on that as well because uh, it's not that I that I'm an overly angry person or moody or anything like that. I just don't like other people's kids. <laughs> I thought I'd do a proper outro for this. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is now officially like half past eight. I turned off my, uh, my GoPro. I decided I'd go and fish that little bit. That I usually fish at. Uh, all the kids were originally over there. Uh, they disappeared. I think they were. I think it was like scouts or boys' brigade or girls' brigade or something like that. But we got one. We got one tonight. I'm actually quite happy about that. It was a decent size. It was good. Good wee fight off of them. Need to get something a wee bit bigger. I know where to go to get them bigger, but. This was a good wee reintroduction back to uh, fishing with feudal. So, 
this is what we caught them on. One of these Rapala countdowns. Smashing. Anyways, just hooked on the on the tongue really or on the bottom lip. So that was a that was fun. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna do the grueling walk back to my car. There's a plane. <laughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to stick around for more fishing with Fudo, please feel free to subscribe. Uh, leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it. I used to go fishing quite a lot back before uh, COVID kicked in. And uh, this is me getting back to it, as you can quite clearly see. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Have a lovely evening. And as always, I've been Mr. Fudo. I'll see you all another time in a plane. <laughs>